This episode of The Direction is brought to you by Miss Utility. Know what's below, call before you dig. All right, folks, this week we're going after a fish known as the Goliath grouper. This one's been on our bucket list to catch one of these Goliaths. Oh, there you go. Oh, what? You got him? No, I ain't got him. I just felt him. Keep cranking. Uh -oh. Keep cranking. Keep cranking. There he is. There's our Goliath grouper. Oh my goodness gracious, what is going on? What have you got, though? I don't know, something's breaking my arm. Everyone has a story. Sometimes it's about catching monster bass. Now that's a studly, mudly baby. And sometimes it's about life's lessons. Every story is as unique as the person who tells it. So join us as we make some new friends, reunite with some old ones, catch a few fish, and share a story or two. I'm Mark Stowe, and this is The Direction. When you head to Florida on a fishing trip, the expectation is to catch some big fish. And for good reason, as the state is known for its fishing quality. But for one species that swims in its waters, it's known to get big, really big. The Goliath grouper is a giant fish with no predators, and they rule the reef. Mark Stowe and buddy Terry McWilliams have always dreamed of one day catching one, and they gave Fire Drill Charters a call and got it all set up. There's no better time than now to check off a bucket list fish. And Mark and Terry hope to do just that. All right, folks, this week, I'm not going to be out trying to catch a little bass this big or a little crappie this big. We're going after a fish known as the Goliath grouper. This is a giant fish. It's one of those fish that's been on my bucket list to catch. Terry McWilliams and Jimmy Jennings going to be with me as well. Terry has always wanted to catch one of these, so we're going to go out with Captain Mike Kale in Nokomis, Florida, and we're going to try to catch one of these big Goliath grouper and get it upside the boat and get a few pictures with it. I can't wait. All right, we're jumping in and getting ready to head on out. So can them fish actually be a nuisance sometimes? They can be. There's no natural predators for them. They're just, they are the king of the reef. There's, you know, a lot of times, as a matter of fact, the spot we're gonna go to, I probably lost eight or nine fish on a charter because the Goliaths were eating them. If you don't get them, if you don't get your fish you're fishing for off the bottom right away, the Goliaths will come up and eat them and they'll chase them 20, 30 feet off the bottom. And I mean, you'll, hopefully you'll see when we get on a couple of them, I mean, they got a mouth about that big. So whatever <laughs> fits inside their mouth, they eat. And they don't, they, they don't, don't care, no, was it? Yeah, they don't call them up, they eat whatever they can find. Oh no, I've got friends that have been pestered by them when they were diving. If they think they can get it you in, get their, in mouth, their mouth, they'll try. Well, huh. A little 20 yacht. <laughs> Must have 20 odd circle hook. Now, folks, I might kill the bass if I set the hook on it with that. <laughs> you don't have to hardly set the hook. That's a little hard enough. It's set I was going to say, now with the circle hook, you just, you just, you just pull real up. Uh, yep. I'm ready for the to show Mark how to catch these big fish. He's not used to that. That's why he brought me out here today, so he get a little training on, on big fish. So I'll work with him all day. You ain't never had this much line on a reel before. Uh -uh. Or anchor. This one's been on our bucket list to catch one of these Goliaths. Right. And we're about to do this. The old man's getting a little excited here. I don't know. <laughs> you know, we, we, we keep checking fun. these little check marks. Terry's been traveling with right us a long there. time. Oh, and and uh, let's see, we went and seen Niagara Falls. Yeah. We traveled around. But Terry uh, right has this right little right list. Right. And this one right here is on your list. Things to do before it's over. Before, before, before I can't do it. We're about ready to see what's going to happen right here with one of these big glass. Then he's going to get in the water and get his picture. No, no I'm not getting in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, there's the palm of my hand. Look at this. This line is, well, I can pull my <laughs> kids around on a sled with this. 400 pounds. And looks like we got a, what, about a three, four, five ounce weight? What is that? Yeah, that's, I think that's a four. Four? Yeah, on rougher days we'll use more, but generally four ounces, we'll do it out here. And this fish here is a? Ladyfish. Ladyfish. Yep. Take Sorry, him. gal. 
Just like that. There we send go. them down to the bottom. This segment was brought to you by Secret Lures. The secret is out. This segment is brought to you by Power Pole. Swift, silent, secure. Just to give a little introduction, we got Mike Kale here. Mike, y'all have a guide service called uh, Fire Drills Charters. We're gonna put Terry behind the rod here, trying to hook up with one of these big Goliath grouper. So, this is on my bucket list, Mike. You're gonna check this off my bucket list. Oh, there. there you go. Oh, what? You got him? No, I ain't got him. I just felt him. Oh, there's something big on the screen. He's moving. Oh, my. Yeah, look at them. Oh, he's there. He's there. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Start cranking. Crank, 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 crank. Keep uh -oh. cranking. Keep cranking. Keep cranking. There he is. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> Hold him, Terry. No, you guys thought we were kidding. Oh, is he hooked oh, up? he's in the ledge. Yeah, he's in the ledge. Here, come on. Come down on it. We'll let him come loose. Holy cow, look at this. Terry, you might have to go down there and get him. Let it come loose. Let us see if he'll swim out. He, he got there in his he got in his home. So what do they do? Come out of a rock and then go back in the rock? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Do that. Did That's you see that rod? Jimmy. <laughs> I thought he was going over the uh, side of the boat for a second. I'm like, Terry, don't you let go of that rod. <laughs> Terry ain't talking. I wonder why James was standing by you. He had to grab it. He wasn't joking you got to grab that rod. Sometimes it, sometimes it takes a couple guys. It's sometimes not a... <laughs> Are you in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He took all the scales off of it. Yeah, you got right. him To the bottom. Yep, drop to the bottom and then go like heck, reeling up. He, uh, Just reel and jerk at the same time. Yeah, okay, there you go. Now fast and hard, as fast as you can go. There he is. Oh boy, I'm going. Hump him, Stowe. Holy smoke, what in the oh, world? I got eaten by a Goliath. There's our Goliath oh. trooper. Oh my goodness gracious, what is going on? <laughs> Hang on, Stoke! Uh, this one pound fish just turned into 250 pounds. <laughs> uh, the grouper ate just what he had hold of. Yeah, oh, yeah, maybe he'll let it loose. Pump, Stoke. What in the world was that here? Was that, that what that, that was? was? A 20 pound fish that turned into 250 pounds. <sighs> that thing just stopped me like I. <laughs> so if we get one of them on there, that's what we got to get, huh? Yeah. But we need it on that reel. Yeah, we need it on that reel. But that's okay. That tells me that they're there and that they're biting. Got the big jig going down. We're going to catch one of these bucket list fish. We've hooked up with a couple of them and they've managed to get us hung up and uh, break us off. So what seems to be easy ain't so easy. Bunch of fish hunters now. Here we go, here we go. Jimmy, look at this giant. That's a... Oh, it's a pea liner. Keep that. Yeah, that's a there. That was something just hit the top of the water right there. There he goes, there he goes. You got him. You got him. Go. Just keep reeling. Keep, keep reeling. Go. Yeah, if you can say that. <laughs> Gosh. Mike, forward. Forward. You may help anyway. <laughs> you push it back here, Rob. Oh, easy, easy, Mike. <sighs> All right, here. I'll let you in there. You guys get him. No, right? no, no. You yeah, get him. You guys on. get him. You guys get him. Get the back of the rod down. Stoke. I think we're just pulling. Easy. Oh, my Lord. Look at him heaving on that Terry Holy crud. I'm trying to get the rod down in my belly. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
<laughs> oh my lord, how much? <laughs> All right, gotta get, get that model. We got that. Come on, Terry, ready now. Hey, man. What in the heck I wish were I you brought thinking? brought brand nitrous with me. What were you thinking? You Telling me the only one that said you wanted to do this real, real, real. I guess. Ready, real. Now, when we go down, you got a real. One, two, three. There you go. Real. Uh, uh, down. All right. All right. And ready? Go. Real, real. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Keep reeling, because he's giving us the line. Keep reeling. I see him. I did see him. Yeah. All right, ready? Real now. Down. Real. You got I Come see on. him coming. Real. Ready? Yeah. Come on. Come on, there. No, I see him down there. There's another one down there with him. Oh my lord. I don't want to catch two of these. Uh, no, I don't want to. Down. down. Uh, holy smokes. That's a big small mouth there. A big small mouth. Holy cow, look at that big old giant fish. You wouldn't get caught out on the lake without your favorite bait. So why would you get caught digging without calling 811? Are you getting ready to start your own digging project? Be sure to call 811 and get your underground utilities located. It's the law and it's free. Here, try this. This segment is brought to you by PowerPole Swift. Silent, secure. Oh my lord, how much? Yep, you want to keep reeling. Keep reeling. Oh, holy smokes. That's a big small mouth there. A big small mouth. Holy cow, look at that big old giant fish. Holy cow, look at that thing. Oh my lord, look how big that thing. No way. Holy smokes, look at it. Can what I have we done, Stowe? Watch out, Stowe, don't flip him. I just wanna, I just wanna, what is this? Oh, he's got big old teeth. He's got big old teeth. That is crazy how strong that fish is. <laughs> I mean crazy. He about whipped both of us. I couldn't have reeled, I could have handled him by myself. So what you, what'd you guesstimate him at? He was 300 plus. We're gonna call 325. You know, okay. I'm gonna tell you something, down there in that water, he looked about that big when he was down there. And then he all of a sudden, I thought he looked a little bigger. I thought, well, we got a little one. And then all of a sudden, I thought that's what we had. Yeah, I thought we had one about like this. I figured that thing was about like that, and that fish was like this. That's coming out. Now. Goliath grouper. We caught one of them. So you want one now? You want to catch one? It doesn't matter, Justin. Yeah, you and do Jimmy. You want to do. We'll catch one more. Yeah, uh, Jimmy, you going to do it? I'll give it a shot. That ain't what I'm used to we, catching stuff. No, neither am I. <laughs> Three and four pound bass is a tough Now I know why James, uh, James back here said, oh, here, you just do it. I'm like. Beat anything <laughs> I ever seen. <laughs> you think we both? I'm laughing. Up. I can't even pull the rod. It's just the strength they've got. Yeah. And it's just sheer power. It would be nice if we started out with a 50 pounder or something, you know? We start out with a 300. Yeah, is there any way to catch little ones of those? <laughs> yeah. I caught a little one tonight in I couldn't believe that. I mean, I'm sitting there. I mean, you really were trying to reel, and I'm really trying to pull, and we ain't making no grand when he first gets on there. Bring it. Oh, that's a baby one. No, it's a grouper. That's a grouper, huh? Yeah, they got to be, what, 20 inches at James? 20 inches. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not a red. Oh, that's, that a, broom. that's, that's a broom. That's a scamp. Yeah, it is. 
Yep, what it is, is it? It's a skimp. I, I was looking at the tail. I was going to. So now, how do you know what the variety it is? Just by the coloration. He's going home for dinner. Yeah. How long they got beef? Sixteen inches. That's probably got the best. Got it, Jimmy. Time. That's real, probably real, the best. Real, real fast, fast, fast. Come fast, on, real, Jimmy. Fast, fast. Come on, Jim. Help me over there. Uh -huh. Got it? I'm coming. Let me get that down. Jeez, you ain't lying. Don't tell me y'all need the land table. Three of them on it. Give me a cent. Man, this is not that hard after all. What are they talking about? Hold on, wait a minute. Come for a little while. Ooh. What happens? He figures out he's hooked. He spit it out or he ends up breaking it off. That broke. That big? I'm not sure what to think. That is a good sized fish. When they grab a hold of you, they grab a hold of you. That's what Terry's talking about now. Feels like That's a little mine. something hair better. Ain't any better than the last one. Look how little they look way down there. Yeah. Hey, I caught me another pogey. Y'all, I got me a fish sandwich again tonight. And what you said that is a pogey? Porgy. 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 Hey, he'll definitely be in the show. I caught me a porgy. We're on some fish here. Put them in the boat. That's a nice size yellow belt. Right down the breeze. Man, look at that. That's there, a black yellow belt. That's a big one. Oh, man. Look how pretty the color of that fish. That's what we came Jimmy! Here. That's what we came here for. And those are eaters. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is one of the best eating fish. Where are you? <laughs> Tell the other two, will you? There you go. Oh, look at it. He didn't even pick his rod up. He just, he's right where he. The same exact spot I was when he hit. I don't go fishing, Mark. I go catching. Oh, catch here him. we go. <laughs> <laughs> or another nice we yellow tail. Another nice yellow tail. Heck yeah. We went rock fishing with him in Maryland. Well, he ate. And that was a pretty More. That was nice fish. Fish. beautiful fish. Aren't those, aren't those pretty? <laughs> Mine's so big, huh? I can't reel it think, in. Buddy? I can't reel uh, it in. You Don't step on, my I butt. step on your toe. You better go the other way, Terry. We're going to take a look. Nice mangroves. Bigger mangroves. Two big mangroves. Oh, I thought that dirty was up. Oh, you got a big mangrove. Hey, I got a yellow tail. tail mangrove. So that's a mangrove that I got? And I got a yellow tail. Yeah, I see y'all in big T. We're catching Goliath. We're catching yellow tail, mangrove, porkies. Boom. Can't get no better than this, though. This is a catch. Oops. Hey, bucket list, check. Fire drill charters, baby. Well, we call it fire drill. It's a fire drill. The game is on. We got to run for the ladder. You won't break again. Yeah, I'm having a cracker. Now it's time for your safe digging moment of the week, brought to you by 811. Always remember to call before you dig. Our 811 moment of the week has got to be Terry and me catching a Goliath grouper. Terry doing the reeling, me heaving on the rod. It was a lot of fun. And this is one of those fish that's been on my bucket list for years to get upside the boat and get a picture or two of. You actually can't put them in the boat because they're protected, but we got one to the boat side and that was an accomplishment in itself. Terry, this is a good bucket list trip. You got a fish, you got a fish. Oh my. We got one. Ah! Uh, I gotta get over to the side of the boat. Oh, there's a rod in the way. Uh, my wrist can't hold up to this. Ah! Uh, Holy smokes. What have you got, though? I don't know, something's breaking my arm. I think I'm gonna stick with bass fishing, boys, because this is a man's. 
world out here. What are you doing? Get your clothes back on. It's your stove. What are you doing, trying. son? My belly hanging out. Uh, Want me to help you? <laughs> you might have to. I see color down there, boys. Color? But I we got to get him up signs. I don't know that my wrist can hold out. Oh, it's a big American red. A big one. Ooh. Look at that. That is pretty. That is pretty, Stowe. But you got to let those go, right? Somebody else caught them because we started looking at them. We can't even eat him, Stowe. Oh, that ain't even. So we had to do it on the boat. All right, who, who lost them? Because that's one of our hooks. Really? So this fish bit twice. I broke two off early. All right, so this time of year, there's there's a, there's a season on red snapper, so you can't keep them. So we've caught this guy, and we got got to release him. We're able to keep the mangrove. We can keep the mangrove and the yellowtails. And the yellowtails, and then we've been keeping some pogies. Mm -hmm. uh, but this little fella right here, he's got That's to go back one. in the ocean. See you, buddy. Look at him take off, man. He's like a bullet. <laughs> cool, All I'm gonna say. Cause it's been a whole lot of fun there, Mike. Well, I'm glad James, you. thank y'all for getting us out here. It's been a good time, and we got to catch one of them big Goliath groupers. You know what that means? We're headed for the house. That's right. The direction is brought to you by 811. Know what's below, call before you dig. We would also like to thank these fine partners. Closed captioning is brought to you by USA North. Call 811 before you dig.